Hey guys, this is Andrew with BNB. Today we're going to look at business view Excel reports. Now look at how they differ from legacy Excel reports, how to set up a business view Excel report, and some of the value that they can bring. All right, so I jumped into ALM here, and let's look at uh, what it takes to create a business view Excel report. So I'm in the analysis view. Uh, I'll create this one in my private folder. Uh, private folder is going to be used only for my user up here. Um, public folder will be used for anybody that goes into ALM. So in the private folder, I'm going to click the new item drop down. Uh, alternatively, we can also use the uh, menu up top, analysis menu. I will choose a new business view Excel report. And I'll give it a name here. So this will be the demo report. All right, so uh, firstly, you have to make sure that you have the right version of Excel st installed on your computer. Uh, I'm using Windows 2010 right here, and I have Office 2013 32-bit uh, uh, installed. So you have to make sure that you're using either 2010 or 2013 versions of Office, and they have to be 32-bit. So the first step here is we want to install our add-in. So this will install the Excel add-in. Uh, go ahead and click that. It will give us a add-in has been successfully installed. And then from here, I am going to create a new Excel. So we see we have an option here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and create a new Excel, and it will actually launch my Excel for me. All right, so once we get Excel launched, uh, we see that we have a new tab in here. We have an HP ALM tab. So what I'll do is I'll click over to that tab, and what we want to do is we want to add our business view. So we get an Add button here. Click that. And then we get a menu here where we can select what business view we want to use. Uh, for this example, I will use a defects business view. And let's try to create a um, chart of maybe severity by status and have it sum the number of defects um, per status and severity. So I'll go ahead and click OK to defects. And it'll give us a, a little um, worksheet configuration uh, pane over here on the right. And we can see that uh, right here pulled in all of our different field names. So what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to go ahead and pop everything over to the other um, column here uh, just to get my Excel sheet uh, kind of blank here. Uh, let's go ahead and add maybe defect ID. Uh, let's add our severity. And let's add our defect status. So now we can see that we have um, a severity here, a status, and then the corresponding ID. Next up is we want to create a, a new table on our sheet one over here. So I'm going to hop over to sheet one and we're going to create a table here that will pull this data um, into. So right here let's do um, status and then for statuses um, let's go ahead and just use the, the looks like four that are here so we'll have new, open, closed, rejected. So status, we'll have new, open, closed, and rejected. And then down here, let's do severities. Let's do one dash low, two dash medium. Okay, so this is gonna be the foundation of our uh, table. And then over here, um, maybe we want to have a, a total column, so let's put total. Okay, let's first get the sums in our total column, because that one's pretty straightforward. So we're going to do an equal sum, and we're going to choose these four cells. Go ahead and say okay to that. And then this one we just want to drag down. Okay, so now to get our values in here, we want to count. So let's go ahead and use the count if formula, count ifs. And here, we are going to first look at um, status of new. So our first criteria, we want the new the statuses on this page. So row C. Then go back to sheet one, and then we want it to be new. So we're going to say um, D5 right here. And then next up, we want the um, severities. So let's go ahead and grab the severities. And then after that, we go back to sheet one. And we want to grab lows. Go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so low status of new. 
or I'm sorry, low severity of new status. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any in here, which is fine. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to use this formula to drag across all of our cells. But right now it's going to uh, shift and mess the formula up. So what we need to do is we need to add some dollar signs here to get everything to stick. So the column C's on the defects sheet is always going to stay the same. It's always going to be the C column. Uh, same with B. Uh, so D5. D5 is the new. So it's going to grab everything with this one new. So this one we want to always be row 5, but the D is okay to shift. So we're going to say 5 is locked in place, and we're going to let D slide. So I'll slide it to open, closed, rejected. And then over here on C6, it's going to be the opposite. So uh, C column always stays the same, but 6 needs to turn to row 7, row 8 to capture the different uh, severities. So um, C we want locked in place, so we're going to put a dollar sign there and hit OK. Now we can grab our formula, we can drag it across and then we can drag it down. There we go. So now we see that we have um, new status, medium severity, there's five. Uh, open status, medium severity, one. And then over here on the right, we have a nice little total. And then what we can do is we can uh, make this look better here. We make it a bigger font size. Space them out a little bit. Just make them look good. Take these, put some uh, some fill in there, give it a good background. And then maybe keep the sizing consistent to make those bigger. And that's a very easy way to get a um, count table that I've seen a lot of people interested in when I'm doing consulting work. Lastly, let's go ahead and put a um, graph with all of our data here. So uh, let's just go insert and let's go ahead and um, insert some kind of bar graph. Um, so first I want to select all the data and then let's um, put in a, let me do a 3D graph. 3D always looks good. Let's go ahead and put a 3D graph in there. Let me move that right here, make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. And that is a very easy way to create a counting table using the business view Excel reports and then attaching a graph to it. Okay, so now we wanna actually save this back into ALM. So we have our metric created. We go back to the ALM tab. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck uh, auto refresh. Um, auto refresh is great, um, but it limits the number of rows we can see. Um, so let's see if we can change that to a thousand. So. Um, if we set it to 1,000, auto refresh is going to be deactivated. So we'll say OK to that. And that means every time you run this report, or if you have it open already, uh, we just have to run the refresh from the database to get live data. Uh, but this way, we can capture all of our entities by putting in a much larger number. And then on to actually saving. So click the Save button. We can save to file, or we can save to ALM. So in this example, I'm going to save to ALM. Uh, we'll choose our private folder. Uh, here's the business view Excel report we created earlier, so the demo report. So I'm going to hit save and it says it already exists. Do you want to replace it? And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. All right, so that saved successfully and then let's hop back into ALM. And back inside ALM we have our demo report we set up earlier. And from here we can see that since we saved it from Excel, uh, it actually uploaded that um, into the report for us. So now we can see we have demo report uh, with the Excel extension. So what we can do is let's go ahead and generate this just so we can get a, a final view of what it's going to look like. Let me uh, shrink my Excel back in there. So here's our Excel report. Uh, it's really nice using the business view Excel reports because it remembers all of the uh, formatting we set up. So here we have our uh, background fills, our graph we set up, and then here's what we quarried. And if we did want to add a new entity, so let's say we have uh, some new defects we're creating, we can actually go in here, um, add some new defects. Sorry, we got a lot of interesting custom fields in here. Bear with me for a second. And then status, so let's put this as something we don't have. So let's look at our Excel report. OK, 
Okay, so we have rejected, closed, new, open. So let's put this one at uh, reopened. And then we need to find severity on here. So let's find severity. Let's say this is going to be urgent. And we'll hit submit. All right, and then let's take this one. Let's actually copy it and paste it a few times just so we can get um, a good look in there. Okay, so we have some new defects here. Go back to our Excel report, HP ALM tab. Let's go ahead and refresh. Let's make sure it captures all of our new urgent reopen defects. And then when we go to our first sheet, we can see that now we have, um, oh, we don't have that column yet. So let's go ahead and add that. So we'll go ahead and insert. See if it'll let us drag this column over there. That's all right, we'll put it right here. So we'll go reopen. Let's make sure I spelled that right, according to the system. So status of reopen looks good. And then what we can do is we can grab our formula again. Let's drag it across and drag it down. All right, so now we have our reopens and our urgents, and then our graph updated accordingly. And then once again, we'll go ahead and take this, save it back to ALM, because we want to keep our new reopened column. Save to ALM, demo report, go ahead and save. And then yes, we want to replace it. All right, so let's look at why business view Excel reports are important. Uh, moving on to ALM 13 and beyond, they're actually going to get rid of uh, old school Excel reporting. Uh, they call it legacy reports now. And if you've used ALM 12, you'll notice that uh, out of the box, they're not enabled. You have to actually add a site administration parameter uh, called legacy Excel reports. So it, it's really important to familiar, familiarize yourself now with uh, business view Excel reports because eventually they're going away and they can do the exact same stuff. Uh, the only difference is when you set up uh, business views inside of your um, ALM, it gives you kind of a um, graphical UI instead of querying the database uh, manually. So uh, everything's still there. Uh, it's just HP's new way of doing it. Um, oh, overall, they're pretty cool. It's nice to be able to make changes in Excel and upload that file instead of having to worry about post-processing and using VBA. So uh, overall, they're really good. Uh, if you have any questions though, feel free to um, email us. I'll put the contact info in the YouTube description. And uh, if you wanna see more great ALM videos, uh, please like our channel and subscribe. All right, thank you.